In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this cool paint drip effect in PowerPoint in just a few minutes. And they really take your images to the next level. And we're starting from a blank slide. Now, first, you want to right click Format Background to add a nice gradient fill. For this gradient fill, I'm choosing a darker yellow or an orange top at the right, slightly more yellow or gold in the middle, and then a bright yellow in the center of the slide. We're choosing the radial fill so that we have this centerpiece lit up. Next, we want to find our picture. You can add it to your slides, or if you don't have it, you can go to Unsplash. And here I'm going to type in for a red hoodie and see if we can find any pictures there. This one already looks quite nice. Let's see what else we got. Ideally, it's a picture with someone facing from the front. This has the best effect. This could also work. I really like this one here with the clean background. That's something nice to work with. Let's download it in high resolution and jump back into PowerPoint. Here we're going to drag the image on the screen and now we're going to use the background remover. It already makes quite a good selection. We mark areas to keep and then we just select the extra areas that we want to keep off the portrait. Let's remove that part in between the arms. There we go and then keep changes once you're happy. Now this background remover, it works for clean backgrounds. If you have a more difficult background, you can always use any external applications to remove the background or for example, Canva. So to get this paint drip effect, we want an SVG file and you can get them from Google or you can get them from any other place. I'm going to use Canva in this example. If you want to learn more about Canva, I also have a Canva channel. I'll link it in the description below if you're interested. And we want to go for the element step and here type in drip. Go for graphics and this will give you a selection of drips that you could use. Some of them are from the pro version, other ones are from the free version and you can choose whichever one you have the license for. You don't have to use it from Canva, I'm going to use this one. You can also get them from any other database, but important is that you get an SVG file. Also the color, it doesn't really matter, but what we're going to do is we're going to add a rectangle, so press R and then add some border on top so we have a clean mark and we can make this like a straight edge. There we go. We're going to share, download, and now we want to select the SVG format. And that is important whichever library you downloaded from. Transparent background and download. Once you've downloaded it, you go back into PowerPoint. You can, for example, also Google for SVG files of brain trips that will work. Then you drag it into the PowerPoint slide and now we want to select it so select the shape that we've created and do convert to shape. This will make all loose elements of the different drips that we have. Next, go to format shape and union. So it acts as one drip shape and we can kind of squeeze it and squish it. If you don't hold shift, if you hold shift, you can scale it proportionally. Now we're going to place it somewhere on the character. Make sure that these sides sort of meet. That will give the most realistic effect. And you can also see if it if you want more of it or less i think i'll go for just the border of the hoodie so that we only have the red i think that will look nicest you can also position it here but you have more of the pants coming through i think i'll go for a very clean red effect and also here i'm trying to line it up with the border or like the little gap in the arm and the chest like this i think that will work i'm going to create a duplicate of the slide just in case so we have a backup to work with Select the picture, hold shift and select the SVG file. Go to shape format, merge shapes and intersect. And this will take a clean cutout and intersect of those two images. Now we're going to select the original one again, paste it on top and send it to back. And now we have two layers. Select the image, so the large one in the back, right click, crop. And now we're going to set the crop mark so that it meets the top of that drip element. Click away from the slide, and now you have a cropped image. What I like to do is here, I like to crop again and sort of set those crop marks also a little bit smaller so that they nicely fit around the subject and it's easier to work with. Now you can just group them together and they will act as one shape. And also here you can add some text. So if you want um, paint, for example, give it a nice font, Montserrat, let's make it black and then give it the color white. Center it in the middle, font size, let's try 200, see if that works. Right click, format shape, 
text options and then increase the transparency. Let's also send it to the back. And this I think gives a pretty cool effect on the slide. And I'm just going to change one thing. So I'm going to ungroup and make it extra bright. Select the picture, right click format picture, go to the color section and increase the saturation to about 250 ish. And now we're going to do the same for the bottom. So it was 248 and do that as well. Group them together and control G and let's preview what we have. And this is how you create this cool paint drip effect in PowerPoint in just a few minutes and they really take your slides to the next level. It shows you that you have put in the thought in the images and it really makes them stand out. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.